Hi, Hiram here. For those of you that might not know about this, there have got to be maybe one or two of you out there that don't. Starting back in September of uh, 2011, I've been working on a uh, project that I saw in the Backpacker magazine. It was one where they suggested to make your pots more efficient. You spray the bottom of them with flat black paint, and it was supposed to increase your efficiency efficiency by 30 to 40 percent. Tried it out, found out it didn't work. Um, you know, just didn't work for me. I think, well, I got time. I'll put lists down below of the other videos. I see that lots of people are still doing it, still paint. The first thing they do when they get a new pot is they paint it and you know, yada, yada, yada. Lately, I've been having people tell me that my tests were wrong. What I did was I, you know, sanded it, sprayed it, and then tested it. Several have been telling me that you've got to, uh, I don't know how, cure. You've got to cure this paint with heat before you can get good times on it, which is something that I wasn't doing. So that's what I'm going to do today. This video is like my beau geste of the Backpacker Magazine pot idea. What I've done is I've taken this pot that I did be, use before where uh, without the paint I got two cups of water to a boil in six minutes and 13 seconds. I put the paint on and it just happened to get it down to five minutes and 30 seconds so that's a whole big savings of 43 seconds not even a minute. You get that kind of variation from one test to the other of doing the same test. But, you know, like I said, I've been having these people hammer me that this has got to cure first. And just to show you what happens, uh, that 43 seconds to me isn't worth it because when you go to clean this off, the paint will scrape off fairly easily. And that's even with my sanding it down. So what I've done with this was I have a propane tank that I wanted to empty out for another little thing. I put this on with water in there and did two 30 minute boils where I just let it go for 30 minutes, took it off, cooled it off, changed the water, put more water in and then burned it for another 30, 30 minutes. So that's 60 minutes of heat on this bottom. So if that doesn't cure it I'm not sure what will. So, oh, before I break here, I've had some uh, requests for information on the Mojo stand. Where do you get it? I get these. I have two of them. I got from there. You can get them on eBay. Now, the Mojo 2 just means that this is my second Mojo stand. There isn't a Mojo 2. It's just that I know... I can put it in my notes what stand I use. So let me break now. I'll go get my water prepped and I'll be right back for a quick and hopefully my last test on this backpacker uh, black pot idea. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my burner going, has a blossom, two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 635, 235. Okay, so that was about a minute more than what it took the last time for the painted pot. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here with that, but it definitely doesn't cut down the time. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 78. Humidity 66 percent. And it came to a boil in six minutes and 35 seconds. So like I said I've seen a lot of people get a new pot, they sand them down, they paint them they think that's going to save them a lot of energy and stuff. 
I don't say anything to them. I keep this just to my videos. If people want to do it, that's up to them. But this is the last test that I'm doing on this. The painted, as far as I'm concerned, painting the pot doesn't help you get to a boil faster. Maybe if you were using infrared lamps or something with infrared heat that the black would absorb it. Okay, but as far as I'm concerned, this kind of looks like the paint is acting as an insulator. So, I'm sorry for putting some of you people through this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.